Good morning. What is up, everyone? Happy Tuesday, August 29th, 2023. It's good to be back in the live stream. It's been about a week, so I don't, don't like going quite that long. Uh, I feel like I'm a little rusty when I come back, but Tuesdays are one of my favorite days to trade, so Hopefully well, you've done well with Steve. How's the uh, how's the zero DTE been treating everybody? Markets are pretty flat. We got a few stocks up a little, and we got some stocks down a little. So. I think there's a jobs report that's going to be coming out at some point. Yeah, last week. See, I was only live on Wednesday, but man, last week here in the Midwest, it was it was hot. Yeah, the heat index is pushing 120. So I was glad to get through that stretch of heat. Hopefully things are good where you're at. VIX is uh that's pretty flat as well, really. I guess I guess it's up point. I guess it's up about three quarters of a percent. So, I have a bell here in a second. There's the bell. So, we're off. Trading uh, Mighty 90 and Runner strategies today, like always, when I'm on this live stream. If you're new, that's what we're trading. We're officially out of earnings season, so we don't have to worry about earnings. Anytime soon. It's gonna. It starts out uh, up about a third of a percent, so it's come down a little bit since pre-market. Now it's uh, up about two thirds, so coming up back up a little bit. AMD pushing up, Baba up 1%, Guga up about one and a quarter, Meta down half a percent. So definitely have a little two-way action here. Amazon pushing up now. The 
think these days are usually good for uh, zero DTE when you've got some up and down movement, some chop. Vic's coming down a little bit. Day is Tuesday, so we trade the the three days to expiration option chain. So again, getting getting some green bars here to start off on the on my first page here. Yeah, about a mix on the back page here, so our second page. <laughs> A lot of the sectors are some are green, some are red. Vix coming down went uh, into the red, so will we see a little bit of a bounce here today? Second bar here, so we'll be looking for some upside volume runners. Or downside, but we'll be looking for a bar that is bigger than the first and in the same direction. Oops. There we go. Right, blockchain is coming down, getting a potentially big bar, man. I just sold my shares when I was at 20 bucks. Morning, Krish. Not seeing anything at the moment that looks appetizing. And yeah, right flipped green. AMD. AMD has AMD has potential.
but it's flipping between red and green. We'll have to right blockchain already there, but looks like it's going to be green. Coinbase. Looks like it might be an upside volume runner. Nothing on the main page. So Coinbase kind of flirting with uh, a red and a green. It's kind of going back and forth. <laughs> So no, don't don't really don't really like anything I'm seeing at the moment. Coinbase would be the I like to, I'd like to see Coinbase push up some more as it finishes here. Finish with some strength. I don't like it when it finishes with weakness and, you know, if, it, if it's on the verge of flipping red, I'll just ignore it. Yeah, so Riot, it, it did stay green, so it's just in the opposite direction, so... Uh, Disney, Disney's getting close, but not going to get there. Almost. Coinbase did finish a little bit better there. So. Let's see. Coinbase. Let's take a look there. Would trade these 74 calls. Try to jump in here. Filled at 216. Coinbase. Seventy four calls. So I like that it finished with some strength. <laughs> For some mighty nineties now. And I'll close half of my coin base at uh, two forty. Filled at two forty. Riot really pushing up. Holy moly. So is PayPal. Oh, man. Yeah, nice push up by Coinbase. Maybe it's going to get another big bar. It closed another coin base at 260. Yeah, it came down a little bit lower. I think I thought I could get a better fill, but it, it dipped down just a little bit more. Where I got in, but must not have dipped down far enough. I don't know. <laughs> Filled at 260 to close a quarter of Coinbase. So something causing the cryptos to rip there. 
AMD really ripped up too. Yeah, you're right, Chris. It did move. It did move pretty fast. And Baba was real close to a downside volume runner. Square might be getting a mighty 90. But man, things things seem pretty strange. Strong this five minutes. I'm not sure what caused everything to just fire up. Tesla could get a big volume bar to the upside. Vic's coming down. PayPal getting a little mighty 90 short. AMD getting a big volume bar to the upside. I'm not sure what Coinbase coming back down a little. Some of these, some of these mighty nineties look uh, pretty enticing. Target big volume bars. Oh, now it's flipped or not flipped red. So I when I see some big volume bars like Nvidia is going to be. Real close to getting there, Tesla. It's like I get a little hesitant with Mighty Ninety Shorts because I think there. I wonder if there might be one more push up. Like Boeing's getting close. It got close to being there. See, like PayPal, it's a pretty good Mighty Ninety setup. Target, upside volume runner. I mean, Tesla, I'd say it almost got there as well. Square's a pretty good mighty 90 short. I might jump in square. I'll do the 57 puts in square. Trying to get filled at buck fifteen. I'm going to cancel my square. So just canceled it. It was close to getting filled, that's for sure. The reason I did was because this bar here looks like it may get as big as the first, how it's developing right now. So I wanted to make sure that like this might be an upside volume runner. I'll get rid of another Coinbase at 280. Yeah, so 
when I saw this bar getting, it was halfway there with about three minutes left in the five minutes. That's when I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to jump in a mighty 90 short on this. That's the one thing I want to, I want to stay away from, stay away from when you're, you're doing a mighty 90 is uh, you don't want that second bar or that, you know, the next bar to be bigger than the first. And it turns into, it goes from a short mighty 90 to an upside volume runner. Uh, hey, MNS must be new. Um, uh, use the, use the discord chat, not the zoom chat. So I don't, I don't monitor the, the zoom chat. Every we, we post in the day trading chat channel. So uh, I am in I am in Coinbase is what I am in. So Apple getting a mighty 90 short. That looks a little better. It's definitely not going to get a big volume bar. So I'm going to jump in. Um, I'm going to jump in Apple. Short here. 182.5 puts. 182.5 puts. Filled at 215. We may just get another big bar. Intel mighty 90. So there's some mighty 90 shorts here. But you can see square. That bar is as big as the first. So I'm glad I didn't get in that mighty 90. You can definitely get a better fill than me an Apple. Short. <laughs> Roku had a looks like a mighty 90. Don't know. Is this a rip your face off day or what? It's an interesting price movement today. It's the MU oh MU had a mighty ninety two that's working. I got it. I got short Apple. So I'm looking for two two uh, red bars in Apple. Yeah, so Square had a had a mighty night or had a upside volume runner. And it's and it's now um pulling back a little bit. So I'm gonna go long square. 56 calls. Filled at 120. So I just wanted to jump in there and square. Apple. Not really coming down. 
ninety ninety. We're kind of pushing up. I can always add to it. So definitely I've had some options here, some of these. Boeing with a big volume bar, but it just flipped red. So can, can Apple give us a red bar? That is the question here. Roku with a big volume bar. Build at 280 to close a quarter of Coinbase. And so Roku has an upside volume runner as well. So I'd be glad to, happy to get um, two uh, quick red bars here and get out of Apple. I'm just wondering if it's going to rip. Coinbase came up. It looked like it was going to go through highs a day, but it's not. Not yet. Roku pulling back. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm long square, so I'm just going to keep that. But it wouldn't be, you know, be, if it pulls back to this pivot, it wouldn't be a bad spot to get long. Uh, square coming down to this pivot. I don't, I don't want it to go through the pivot. I'm going to add to my square, right at this pivot. Build it a buck 07 to add to square. My base not moving now. PNG flying high. Target never really pulled back.
Apple might be giving us two red bars, but man, it hasn't come down very much. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my Apple. Build it 221. So it just looks like it wants to go higher. The market seems strong, and so I just got out. And we will see if that is a good decision on that. I think I had one like that a couple of weeks ago. So, and I would get out of half my square at a buck 20. Which was my original entry. Build it a buck twenty to close half my square. Queen base pushed up to highs of day. <clears throat> So I got three coin bases left, so I'm just holding on to them. So Apple looks again, it looks like it's gonna give yeah, just two red bars, so I'm out out of Apple. That's that looks like a good spot for an upside continuation runner right there. I would close another square at a buck thirty. And Boeing had, had that big volume bar, but man, it still rocking. Build it a buck thirty to close a quarter of square. See, that is a good out in Apple. See that? And I was honestly tempted to go long Apple. It just looked like it wanted to go higher. Oh, Coinbase. You need to get out of another Coinbase. Build at 305 to close another coin base. Oh, that was nice. And look at Apple. Jeez, what a great out. I was considering long Netflix as well. I know it's going to get a big green bar here unless it comes back down, but Meta's got a pretty tight range, though. You can see that here. Man, what a great out in Apple. When you, when you get pushes like this, you know, I'm, I, feel, I feel blessed to be uh, long two here. Man. You really want to be long, you know. It'd be nice to be long more than more than two, but at least feeling lucky. I was 
still long Coinbase when it broke highs. The one thing I was gonna do, I mean, this is just a this is, looks like a upside continuation runner. You've got it's just uh, steady up, and then a big push up, and then a two bar pause. Sometimes it gives you a three bar pause, and then continue higher. And Tesla, big volume bar, already as big as the first. Square pushing up, but man, it's a tight range, so it's not it's not paying me like I would like. Boeing, big volume bar. Look at that mighty ninety and PayPal would have worked. See that? You got you got this green bar here bigger than the previous one, and it gave you two two red bars. Holy moly, Tesla. Can you pull back for me, Tesla? Pretty please. NVIDIA, big volume bar. <clears throat> Winbase, another big volume bar. Get out of another Coinbase. Build at 320. So I got one Coinbase left. <laughs> wow. Intel, big volume bar. Oh, this Coinbase is a monster. No pullback at all in Tesla, man. Not yet, anyway. Again, I'm looking for an entry, but you know, when they when they look at like they do at Microsoft, Nvidia, Tesla, and it's just no pullback at all. It's just nothing you can do about it. Surprised AMD hasn't broken out yet. Man, what a great out in Apple. Whew. Yeah, I wish I was long more, but... Close another square at a buck forty. Look at Boeing, man. Got two big red bars, but it's still going higher. I mean, there's got to be a pullback at some point on some of these. Goog had a nice mighty 90 short there. So there's one Coinbase. I'll see if it'll go higher. Let's let it ride, but I don't want to sit through any type of pullback with just one contract left.
Airbnb going to get a big volume bar to the upside. Zoom. Big volume bar. Target, another big volume bar. Right blockchain, another big volume bar. Damn. Don't want to get greedy, that's for sure. That's how sometimes you get you lose profits when you get greedy. square to keep keep going up so will we have a pullback here that is the question Looking at a Goog upside continuation. Well, I'm going to wait towards the end of this bar. Maybe it'll come down a little bit more. Okay, so Coinbase coming down a little bit. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just close my last contract out here. Um, I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to give this, let's see, we've got three minutes left. I'll see how it finishes here. All right, so Goog. Trade the 134 calls. Go to the buck 81. Just, just jumped in as quickly as I could there. It still may come down a little bit more. But I wanted to enter and I thought, well, if it comes down a little bit more, I'll just um, add to it. Yeah, see, so Coinbase, it just held right there. I didn't want it to come down anymore, so I'm just going to continue to hold that one and see if it'll push through there. So a little continuation runner for Goog. So pushed up, a little pause, just hoping to push up. I mean, it may have... It kind of looks a lot like Apple was looking. What's like right here when I got out of Apple?
Hey, pal. Broke through highs. Square is coming back up. I've got an order at a buck forty to close another square. Wow, Baidu took off. Filled at a buck forty to close another square. I have a lot of square contracts because I added to it still. I got to order in on Goog at two bucks to close half. So Coinbase uh, might want to might want to keep going here. So I'm just going to let that contract ride. Coming up to a pivot. Let's see, get through that pivot. Build it two bucks. Close half of Goog. Wow. So far, no stop in the market. Good to see Goog pushing through that pivot. Coinbase kind of pausing. I don't, I don't need to continue to hold it. It's just one contract, so it's not going to give me a lot. QCOM pushing up. Looks like it's going to get a big volume bar. So, anybody know, like, uh, some news come out or something? Like, what's the strength? Maybe it's just because it's been so weak lately. That could be one thing. Yeah, so what, did the jobs report come out? Okay, so I'm assuming that was that was a good good jobs report. Or whatever the market liked it. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't uh, looked to see. Bit too focused on these trades. Look at Airbnb's big volume. So I think I might get out of my last Coinbase up where it's at. No need to be greedy. I'll see how it finishes here. But it might be time just to close the last one. I tell you, getting getting long apple right there would have been nice too. I definitely liking the 
cryptos being up today. Come on, Goog. Finish strong. So I'm going to close my last Coinbase, I think, here. As this bar comes to a close. Filled at 365. I mean, I could have I could have continued to let it run. And if you got some more, you could continue to let it run. It looks like it's getting another big green bar or so. But it's just one contract, so. Goog, if Goog pushes down below this spot right here, I'm just going to bail on it. Oh, man, look at Coinbase. Are you kidding me? Well, I let, let that one contract, I let go of it. Uh, Holy cow, it's up to six bucks. Wow. I, I let it go um, just a little too early, like 30 seconds too early. Are you kidding me? I, I've been in a part, I've been in with something like this before with a lot of contracts, but it's been a long while since I've had a push like that. That's nuts. Anybody anybody keep any Coinbase on? Getting out of another square. Filled at a buck fifty-five. Close another square. Holy moly. Goog did not push with them all. That's crazy. Nobody's got any Coinbase on, huh? Oh, my God, look at it. I cannot believe I didn't keep that on for just one more five-minute bar. What? What is that at? I got out at uh, 365. And now it's at 8.20. It's up to almost nine bucks. Holy cow. That's incredible. Ooh, square. Keep going, square. Come on, Goog. Man, I, I, I'm just stunned that that did that. I mean, you can't predict that, though, you know? Getting out of another square. Filled in a buck 65. Wow. That, I haven't seen one of those in a while. Really disappointed Goog didn't take off like some of, the, like some of these others. Like Microsoft, <clears throat> Apple's still going higher. I guess Tesla really didn't either. Man, man, man. 
So nobody had any Coinbase on during that? Either that or they're not, you guys aren't sharing. <laughs> Square with another big volume bar. It's going to be almost as big as the first. So good in at Square right there. I have a lot of contracts in Square. It might be the most contracts I've had on in a while. Because I added to it. Okay, Whew. take a breather on that one. Robin Hood went up with all of those. I've got my business channel muted over here, so. So I don't think I'm, it's 9.30 almost, Central Standard Time. I don't think I'm going to get in anything else because I'm just not sure how much of a push these have left. I, I thought I'd like to see Goog take off a little better than it's doing. Could you imagine if Square would do what Coinbase did? Roblox getting another big, uh, looks like it's going to get another big volume bar. I was considering uh, going long AMD on this little consolidation right in here, but it was a tight range, so I didn't. But it would have been profitable. I was also considering a long here in Netflix right after this little two bar pullback. Roblox going to get a big volume bar. Um, going to get out of another square at a buck seventy five. Filled at a buck seventy five to close another square. It's not. Wow, Coinbase. Jeez. Could you imagine if I would have left one, that one contract on for about another minute? I closed it with like less than a minute to go in the in the, this bar right here, right before it bounced up. Wow, that's just nuts. Yuga. 
Come on. I've got a pretty darn good green day going, so I... whether goo goes or not, but if it goes. Trying to be patient here. Look at Tesla breaking through highs. Well, NASDAQ is up 200. That's why I'm kind of surprised the Goog hasn't taken off a little bit more. Airbnb named most innovative lodging brand. We're talking about that on the business channel now. And its stock is showing. Target, man, would have been a good. I mean, it's just had nothing but big bars. I'm just, I'm still just absolutely shocked at Coinbase. Close another square to dollar eighty five. And where's all my peeps? Where's all my peeps in this? You know, Tenra, Ezzy, Bumblebee. Where are you guys all at? We got a light crowd today. It was a good one. There we go, Goog. Then I have another Goog here. At 220. Build at 220 to close quarter Goog. Almeda really pushed up right there. And there's got to be a pullback at some point. I would think. Every stock I have on my board is green now. Disney just went green. Get out of another square. Build it a buck ninety. Wow. What a great ad at the pivot and square. Maybe I should take a week break more often, huh?
We're going to have to thank Steve for scheduling me to be in the live Zoom today. Meta getting a big volume bar. I will see you, Chris. Just going to hang tight with you here. Stay on a little bit longer than I normally do. Just to kind of see if we get a pullback here. Get out of another goo, get 240. Filled at 240. Got four googs left. And I have nine squares left. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had a day like this, folks. This has like been the perfect storm. Get out of another square at two bucks. Build it two bucks. So square, I mean, it was a buck 20. So that was easy math. I went in with 20 contracts, put me at 2,100 roughly. So that's you know, close to my 2,000 of buying power. And then I was actually, when I added to it, I was actually scared to add an equal number. So I just added half. I just added 10 more, which is another 1,000 bucks of buying power because it was a dollar seven. So... And then it just, then it ripped. So it was kind of the perfect, perfect storm. I mean, I don't, I don't get into 30 contracts very often, but the fact that it was priced at where it was, $1.20 and then $1.07, you know, when it's $1.07, I'm going into 10 contracts, it's only a thousand bucks. But, Ooh, look at Walmart fall. Okay, so it might be time to close up shop, folks. Might be time to close shop. Let's see. And look at freaking Coinbase. Unbelievable. It's up 14%. So, okay, so... Coinbase. What is, and this is the reason you leave like one contract on or two is in case it rips like that. But um, so 74 call is now worth uh, 1050 to 1095. I got out at 365. That's amazing. All right, well, I think we're going to jump off. If square comes down below this pivot right here, I'm going to close it. 
And same thing with Goog. If it comes down below this pivot, I'm going to close it. Otherwise, I'll just keep scaling out cases. You know, it, it may be taking a pause right now and then might continue. So I'm going to, I'm going to give it a little bit of a leeway and pulling back. Like it wouldn't surprise me to see like square pull back to this pivot and then bounce again. So anyway, yeah, if it pushes below that pivot there, I'll bail. Same thing with uh, Goog. So, hey, we'll see everybody tomorrow. Have a good one. Peace.